Service Commission PSC indicating that more than 2,000 public servants are in possession of forged academic and professional qualifications has lifted the lid on a baffling and scrupulous means of a section of Kenyans used to attain positions in government. Our reporter Moige William takes a dive into this matter and has engaged a number of unemployed graduates who have lost hope of finding employment in the public sector despite making desperate attempts. Some say, Hatuna Connection. Take a look. Boniface Njehia makes part of the 1.5 million unemployed Kenyans. This is according to the recent figures by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, KNBS. The 28-year-old father of one works at a construction site in 87 Kino along Wayakiwe doing manual jobs at least to provide for his family. Njehia is a university graduate having attained a bachelor's degree in human resource and management in the year 2021. However, finding a job that matches his skills has been impossible. All his efforts to look for formal employment in the human resource field has proven futile. He shares with us that he has dropped his curriculum vitae, that is CV, in more than 20 organizations, a majority of which are government agencies. Since he graduated, Njehia took whatever life drew at him, working as a fishmonger, a restaurant attendant, a pool table attendant, among other informal jobs just to eke out a living. By the way, of late last week, I went to the city council at home. At the country's capital along River Road, Crispin Washiri is a graduate in the field of public relations and mass communication. Unable to secure employment in his field, he resorted to working in the beauty and grooming industry as a nail technician. I, mean, I feel like government in Itaji connections, work for government in connections. But when I end up in a part of work for 60 years old. I asked both Njehi and Washira why they think it has proven to be an uphill task to secure jobs since graduating with their respective academic qualifications. For the majority of Kenyans not formally employed, they have turned their focus to look for any source of income, at least to cater for their daily needs. Wagi William, TV 47.